My NERC funded research is basically aimed at trying to look at the interactions between photosynthetic organisms, that's plants and their fungal symbionts, and their interactions with rocks and soils. And uh, we go about this in three different ways, um, with experiments and also with uh, very uh, de detailed theoretical models, and also by looking at the fossil record. A culmination of my research over the last 15 years has been to write a book called The Emerald Planet, in which we describe how plants have shaped Earth's global environmental history. And the success of that book has led to a BBC Two TV series called How to Grow a Planet, which was presented by Ian Stewart, and really communicated that message to a very broad audience. Some examples of work that we've been doing then is to uh, recreate conditions on Earth as they were 100 or 150 million years ago when we had um, large forests growing in the polar regions instead of ice sheets and trying to figure out how those forests grow and how we can relate that information back to uh, the fossil record. So that's kind of the sort of thing that we can do with very detailed measurements. And then with theoretical models in um, collaboration with colleagues in Cambridge, we've also been trying to understand, for example, the very large volcanic eruptions that happened in Siberia 250 million years ago. And this was a time when life on Earth was brought to its knees and 95% of all species went extinct. And we've done very detailed theoretical chemical calculations trying to understand how those major volcanic eruptions would have affected the ozone layer. And, and then link that through to try and sort of understand whether that would increase the amount of UV fluxes on the land surface and drive the mutations that we see in the fossil record. One of the studies that attracted a lot of attention was when we analysed fossils from Greenland across the Triassic-Jurassic boundary, that was 200 million years ago. And uh, at that time we reconstructed massive changes in atmospheric CO2. And this has started to build an understanding of what was driving those extinctions at that time. So this year, one of the uh, current NERC projects that we're, that we're engaged in is trying to go back 450 million years to figure out how plants first got a toehold on land. And uh, all the evidence suggests this involved uh, symbiotic partnerships with fungi, and in order to study how those plant-fungal partnerships actually function, we have to go to New Zealand and collect these uh, living fossils, these relics of plants that grow in the Notophagus forests out in New Zealand. The success of our NERC-funded research over the last five or ten years has, and these discoveries and the outreach through the book and the TV series has really um, uh, driven a tremendous uh, increase in interest from undergraduates and grad students that want to come and work at the University of Sheffield and get involved in plant science.